So at the beginning, so at the beginning, I just like here uh, to you know explain certain points and um, why it's like this one. I just like okay, I'm going to open in other words okay, here. Okay. Okay, let's pick this one, for example. So as I told you today, I'd like to focus on uh, four points. Like here, let's do this one. Let's go down. So now we'll take grammar or what? Yeah, we're going to uh, yeah, we're going to start with grammar first and then we're going to have speaking. Okay. So concerning grammar, I'd like to focus, as I told you, uh, on four um, points or four common mistakes. Number one, uh, here, number one, I'd like to focus on um Let's say, you know, coordinating conjunction? You know, coordinating conjunction? Yes, I know. Yeah, what are coordinating conjunctions? Uh, and, but, because, so. Yes, very good. Coordinating conjunctions, like what? Like fanboys. You know, fanboys? Fanboys? What? Fanboys. Fanboys. Yeah, like what? Like four, four, like here, four, and, and, uh, nor, we have but, we have or, we have yet, and we have so. In English, we call these conjunctions, we call them coordinating conjunction. So what's wrong about them? Usually speaking, they're weak. Uh, why we use them to connect uh, two adjectives, uh, to join two verbs, uh, two participles, uh, two pronouns, two uh, prepositional phrase, phrases, two relative clauses. Like, you know, like see this one, we can just use them to connect words or to join some words. The problem is, and this is really famous in most exams, they're too weak to join two complete sentences. So for example, like this sentence, like I saw it a lot last time, like you shouldn't say, I am from Egypt, you know, I'm from Egypt, uh, but I live in Saudi. But I live in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, in grammatical speaking, it's okay. Grammatically speaking, it's okay. But this one, this sentence concerning punctuation, it's not okay. Why? Because here we have a subject, which is I. We have a subject here. It's I. And here we have a verb, am. Okay. And here we have another subject, again, I. And we have another verb, which is live. So here we have two complete sentences, like joined by, joined by, or connected uh, by, but. And here, but is too weak to connect two complete sentences. All this conjunction for and no but yet uh, or and so these conjunctions these uh, these linkers are too weak to join two complete sentences so what should we do we should insert a comma before them not after them before them so i'm from egypt okay but i live in saudi arabia so here you have to have a uh, but you have to insert comma before it for example i can say uh, she yes, but uh, hmm? uh, hey teacher can i uh, can i say something yeah, sure, honey. Just you'd like to ask something, say uh, it yet. Okay, can we can yes. we say I I am from Egypt um, and I live in Saudi Arabia? Yeah, you can say that, but just, you know, but is much more accurate here. You know, like you can say, I'm from Egypt, but I don't live in Egypt, I live in Saudi Arabia. If you say and, if you said and, it is not that kind of wrong, but what is better, you see? You can say, I come from Egypt, you can say, I am Egyptian, but I live in Saudi Arabia. Okay, so in that case, my point is do not forget comma when you connect to complete sentences, you have to insert a comma before these weak conjunctions. These conjunctions, we call them weak. Why weak? Because like we use them to connect or join words. If you, if you, yes. want, uh, if you want to write uh, many, many, uh, many things, you have to put comma and but or 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 for and um, yes or, when we have a list of things yes honey when we have a list of things yeah when we have a list uh, of things in that case we can uh, use use them and use comma before them no problem uh, here another <laughs> thing so we need to i will mute all yes uh, i need to mute everyone now until we finish so uh, she <laughs> so Please do not unmute yourselves, okay? So here we have, I can say she, uh, let's say she um, was uh, tired, she was tired, and yet, yet she went to work. Yet she went to work. In this sentence, again, we have two sentences. We have she was tired. We have a subject, which is she. 
she in this sentence is a subject she and we have a verb which is was she what she was was what she was tired so we have a subject verb and complement and then we have a we conjunction which is yet yet here means but like you know yet here is used meaning but she was tired yet or but she went to work she we have another subject which is she and then we have another verb which is went so again, here we have two complete sentences joined by yet and a comma. A comma alone is not enough. Yet alone is not enough. So in English, in all, in almost all placement tests and almost all exams, including SAT or any kind of test, like you know, in which you have to, you know, uh, answer some grammatical questions, put in your mind this: in this sentence, if you sentence, if you remove yet, in English we call this sentence, you call it run on sentence, run on sentence why uh, because as if a sentence the first sentence ran into the second one and nothing could stop it you see so call it that's why you call it they call it run on sentence which means the comma this comma can never can never be used alone to join two sentences remember that in any set exam the comma have to exam, be uh, to have conjunctions yes you have to have conjunction uh, whether like you know coordinate conjunction in the middle or you can have you know uh, adverb conjunction at the beginning you can say uh, despite or be, although she was tired she went to work or she was tired yet she went to work or she was tired however she went to work but in that case you have to uh, even change the comma if you're going to use if you're going to use uh, however my point is be smart in writing in any grammatical exam in any kind of a test in which you have you're supposed to know how to compose a complete sentence put in your mind the comma can never be used to join two complete sentences if you like to correct this one we have different ways like this sentence if you like to correct it grammatically speaking we have different things like different alternatives number one you can adjust here although you can say although or even though or, oops sorry like this one you can say although you see this one although she i'm going to remove this uh, I like words. Thank you. So here, just yeah, this sentence is still correct. If you add just like you know, although at the beginning here, it's correct. Even though to be also correct, she should be capitalized. A small here. So although she was tired, she went for this sentence is correct. Now it's correct. Another way you can say here, you know, she was tired yet she went to work again. This is correct. If you, again, another way you can say she was tired. In that case, if you like to make it full stop, and then you can say however. However, you know, she went to work again. So this way, like the three, the last three sentences, all of them are correct. But this one is incorrect, totally incorrect. And believe it or not, most of you made such mistake in writing. Most of you, uh, you uh, write a lot of sentences and you don't care about the, like, you know, the, the punctuation, uh, uh, you know, end of each sentence. So put in your mind when you are not sure you know when to use them you know comma or just you know when you you are not sure just to try to make sure if you have a complete sentence a complete thought add full stop so a comma is not used remember this one this is a very important point here so remember a comma uh, you know is not used to join to complete complete sentences we shouldn't we couldn't use it to connect it. Remember this one. This is the first rule I'd like you to remember. You know, what else? This conjunction alone, I mean like fanboys, for, or, nor, but, yet, and so, also can never be used alone to connect complete sentences. So now are you ready to have our first quiz, our first exercise? You ready? Teacher, I don't understand. Oh, yeah, I didn't understand what is the meaning of fanboy. Uh, fanboys, okay, I will just explain it now, honey. Look, fanboys, you know, F stands for four. You know four? You know this word for? Yes. Yeah. Yes. For here means because. For here, yeah. For in this sentence means because. Not for like, you know, for two days, no. For here is used as a conjunction, which means because. For example, I, I will give you an example after this one. You know, A stands for and. And N stands for nor. B stands for but. And O stands for or. Y stands for yet and S stands for, for so. What about them? These fanboys are used to join words, not complete sentences. You see, we use them only to join two words, like, you know, for example, what's your name? Mustafa. So, Mustafa, what's your brother's name? I don't have. What's your sister's name? I don't have. So, what's your friend's name? Your friend's name? Bad. Bad. So, you can say Mustafa and Bad are friends, right? Mustafa and Badr. Is it okay or not? 
Yes. Said, yeah, okay. Why? Because I just used and to connect Mustafa and Bad, two words, noun and now. If I said, for example, yeah, he's like, he's smart and he's cheerful. He's smart and cheerful. Smart and cheerful. Here we use it to connect or to join two adjectives. No problem at all. The problem is if you're going to use these weak conjunctions to join two complete sentences. In that case, you have to insert, you have to add comma before them. You see my point? You got that, Mustafa? Again, if you use these words for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so, to join two, <laughs> two complete sentences, in that case, you have to, you have to insert or add a comma before them. This comma here is not optional. You shouldn't say, no, I can just, you know, do without it. No. You see, like, you have to. This is, like, one of the common mistakes that we always do in writing and in some exams. You see my point now, Mustafa? You see it? Yes. 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 Okay. Make yourself now, Mustafa. Thank you. What else? Uh, again, the comma is also weak. We can never use a comma to join two complete thoughts. So put in your mind. These alone are not enough. And the comma alone is not enough. So what should we do? We should add both of them. Comma and this conjunction. Like comma and four. I will give you an example for four. In case if you like to ask. I shouldn't add comma in the right like here. But I'll give you an example. Or like, for example, I can say she uh, was, uh, let's say, um, busy uh, for uh, she was, or just, you know, she uh, was uh, studying. She was studying. Studying uh, for her test. Okay, is this sentence correct or incorrect? Grammatically speaking, I mean punctuation, concerning punctuation. Is it correct or incorrect? Uh, not correct. Excellent, Ramon. Uh, yes. Incorrect. Very good. It's, 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 it's incorrect, of course. There is no it's comma. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. So please, please try not to unmute yourself. Very good, honey. The first one who answered. And thank you, Ron, for raising your hand. And thank you for participation. But please try not to answer, you know, before having permission order not to um, confuse yourselves. So here, she was busy. This sentence is in, not incorrect. Incorrect. Why? Here we have one sentence which she and was a subject and a verb, busy complement. And then we have a conjunction for here, simply, simply. You can remove it and add because. She was busy because she was studying for her test, okay? Or you can even write as, as she was studying for her test. Uh, and even you can add since, since she was studying for her test. But if you're going to use for, in that case, you have to add a comma before it. Otherwise, you don't have to, but just in, in this sentence, when you use fanboys for or nor but yet so as a complete in order to join two complete thoughts, in that case, again, as I told you, you have to insert a comma. A comma alone is not enough. These conjunctions alone are not enough. So what should we do? Both of them, the comma and this conjunction, in order to make sure that your sentence is grammatically correct. Now let's just start answering the first exercise. I will answer the first uh, two. I will explain the first two sentences, and then I will give you turns. I'm going to take um, now. Um, everyone is interested in answer. Mute yourself, everyone, please. If you're interested in answering, just raise your hand. I will take a photo of your names, and then I will give you each one who's going to have a turn. Okay. So now, if you're interested in answering, raise your hand. Okay. Yes. Now I'm going to take a photo. I have only. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six only is interested in answering. Just raise your hand in order to answer. And we can make mistakes, no problem. Answering. Yes, okay. Just raise your hand uh, so that I will take a, a photo and then I will give you turns. Yes. I have a question before answering. Okay, ask him. Um, in hmm? you not read as but you will not be able to grab your listener's attention. How? Yeah, I mean, like you, you speak on you speak uh, you speak about presentation, right? You yeah. speak about presentation. So I will give you another a very simple example. Imagine if your sister, uh, you know, sister, if your teacher entered into your class and she was carrying a book and she started reading from the book. Are you going to understand anything? She didn't no. explain. For example, like I'm just I'm a teacher. Like, can you imagine a teacher entering a classroom, carrying her book, and just you know, like saying that today she's reading. Today I'm going to tell you about like a new lesson. Our lesson is like you know, focusing on the most common mistakes that most students make in uh, in grammar. The first common mistakes is like random sentences. Is it? Does it? Is it catchy? Is it attractive? Are you going to listen? No. 
No, when you present, when I ask you to read, I expect you to read. When I ask you to present, I expect you to present, not to read. And when you read, like, yeah, it's okay to write it in advance. It's okay to practice it in advance. It's for sure it's okay. But the point is when you present, you have to be spontaneous. You have to be like, uh, like you know, it has to be natural. Like as if when you speak with someone so that I'm going to listen to you, but I can never listen to someone's reading. You see my point? You see my point? So yeah. now let's start answering question. I'm going to start giving you turns. So please do not try not to unmute yeah, yourself. Can you after, yes. uh, can we answer? Uh, yeah, can and we first answer of all, um, yeah. Can yeah, I sure. make my presentation? Yeah, okay. Just, you know, once you finish grammar, I, I promise uh, you will have your presentation. Even before playing our speaking game, you're going to have your presentation. So I have 12 one raising their hands. Now, everyone lower your hand now. I Let's start. Now I'm going to start our, uh, let's start it. Yes. Uh, the first one, Ziad, then Mohammed, Ahmed, Ahmed, Mukhtar. Then uh, Mustafa, then Mohammed Tamir, then Mohammed Gamal, then Maryam Abu Zaid, uh, then Iyad, Jana, Yusuf, Yahya. Okay, one by one, I will tell you your turns in order not to feel confused. Uh, if you're not interested in answering, for sure, no problem at all. For sure, no, honey, it is not a quiz, it is not a story. Today we're going to have grammar and speaking. So it's not a story, the one who was asking. Now let's start. Here we have the first exercise. Okay, what I'd like you to do, I'd like to read the sentence and tell me if it's correct or incorrect and why. Okay, so for example, software should be used on a laptop computer and this computer is a laptop. Here we have subject, verb, comma, and and, and then subject and a verb. So this sentence is grammatically speaking, correct. This one, the rain clouds can be seen in the distance, but no has fallen. This sentence is incorrect. Why? Simply, we have no, no what? No subject. We have no subject. So how could just, you know, this sentence doesn't make sense. What has fallen? Okay, so this sentence is incorrect simply because we do not have a subject in the second sentence. Okay, so number one, Ziad. So as I told you, Ziad, Ahmed, Mustafa, Muhammad, and so on. I will tell you one by one. So Ziad number three, read it and answer it. And tell me what's wrong about it. They Ziad. are trying, they are trying to sell their house. Mm -hmm. It has been uh, on the market for two months. No, 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 honey. No, look, we can never say months. In English, we can never say months. Like this one is pronounced months. Month. Month. Excellent. Months. Months month with set, not month. with with s. Yeah, months. If you speak about one month, we can see. Oh, I waited for a month. A month. One month. But two, two months. Two months. Th here. Like I'm um, just you know. I'd like to, like let's hear. Like don't pronounce th. Don't pronounce it, okay? This one, don't pronounce it. I'm very bad at drawing, sorry. So what about this sentence? Is it correct or incorrect and why? Quickly, Ziad. Yes, I think, I think it will be incorrect because there is no conjunction. Excellent, excellent. This sentence is incorrect. Why? Why it's incorrect? Because we have no here, conjunction. we have just comma. We call it in English, run on sentence. We call it in English, run on sentence. Why? As if the first sentence ran into the second and nothing stopped it. Very good, honey. Very good, Ziad. And after Ziad, I want Ahmed. Ahmed, Ahmed. Ahmed? Uh, I'm here. Yes, okay, Ahmed. The second one, number four, Ahmed, please. Uh, the quality of the print to the quality of the print was not wasn't good i changed the typewriter ribbon yeah um, uh, incorrect excellent because why there is no conjunction. conjunction yeah we have conjunctions the conjunction here is so but is it uh, placed correctly or is it misplaced no it uh, must be in the middle of the uh, excellent sentence. very good ahmed very good ahmed very good so we can never say so like for example she so she was tired she went to work how come no she didn't go to work. She was tired, so she didn't go to work. I can never add a conjunction like and or nor, but yet, and so, and, and uh, yet at the beginning. And even these in writing, students who under who start their sentences with and, you're speaking, it's weak. I recommend them to start with moreover, in addition, further, besides, additionally, to add. It's better than and. Now, after Ahmed, I want Mustafa. Mustafa to go. I be Mustafa to go. Let's teach. Yes, honey. It's Mustafa start. Read number five and tell us is it correct or not. The lifeguard will warn you about the riptides or she may require you to get out of the water. Yes, Mustafa. So think about it. What is the subject? What is the verb? Yes. Hmm. The verb here uh, is will. Will warn. 
Okay, will is a helping verb, worn is a main verb, yes. And the subject is lifeguard, okay. And here we have what? We comma. Have and comma. Oh, and then we have what? Another yeah. subject. Me. And yes. another verb may require you. You know, the lifeguard will warn you about the riptide or she may require you to get out of the water. So this sentence, correct or incorrect? I say it's incorrect. Why it's incorrect? Because there is a comma and or. or yes. So how can we correct it? From your point of view, how can we correct it? Uh, we must remove the comma. No, honey. No, honey. Like this sentence is, in, is correct. What you say is incorrect. I told you. Or alone is weak. In that case, you have to enhance it using a comma before it. You see that, Mustafa? In English, yes. when you use or, or is very weak, you know, like let's say that it's very weak. It can never connect two complete sentences. In order to make it stronger, we have to insert a comma before it. That's why this sentence is correct. Okay, Mustafa? Yes. Now, after Mustafa, I want Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad Tamir. Muhammad Tamir. Hmm? Muhammad? Okay, so then uh, Muhammad Gamal. Number six. Uh, you should have finished the work yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yet it is not close to be finished today. Mm -hmm. After yet it should be. Yet it is not. Excellent. So is this sentence correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Excellent. So this sentence is incorrect. Why? Because we have no subject in the following sentence. This one. Yet it is. It is not closed. So here we have you, you should have, you should have. We're just speaking when we have should have or would have or could have. You should like could have, should have would have you should have finished the work yesterday yet in order to make it correct we have here to insert it it is not close to being finished yet today very good Mohammed. very good excellent number seven i want mariam 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 abu zaid mariam number seven phone rang again and again so the reception wasn't able to to get much work done mm -hmm. uh, yes honey correct or incorrect correct excellent <laughs> why very good mario very good honey Thank you. Uh, the phone is subject. Uh, rang is the verb. Excellent. So, the conjunction. Uh, the, re the reception is the other subject. The receptionist, was, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and wasn't uh, is the verb. Excellent. Very good, Mariam. Very good, honey. After, after Mariam, we have Iyad. We have Iyad. Iyad, Hussein? Yes. Yes, honey. Can you please answer number eight? Okay, mm -hmm. the missing wallet was found, but the cash and the credit, uh, uh, credit card had been removed. Yeah, just try to be uh, faster when you read. Yeah, okay, honey. Okay, uh, it will be correct. It is correct. Why do you think that? Uh, be, because because we bought the command, we bought the, the part, we bought but. Excellent. Uh, and we have a subject uh, and another yeah. subject. And we have a verb and another verb. Yeah. Very good, honey. Very good, Iyad. Now, after Iyad, very good, Iyad. Jenna, Jenna Sharif. Jenna, number nine, quickly, honey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number nine, Jenna. Six. The sentence is. Yes, this one. Is it correct or incorrect, Jenna? Correct. Mm hmm. Jenna, can you hear us, Jenna? Okay. Yes, we hear you now? Yes, we hear you, honey. So number nine, is it correct or incorrect and why? It's incorrect. Uh, because we started with um one of the uh, one of the like it's all. Excellent. We shouldn't start with yeah. it. Excellent, honey. Very good. Very good, Jenna. Now we have Yusuf, Yusuf Muhammad, number 10, Yusuf. Oh. Okay. Uh, the chemist, uh, the Chemist was uh, awarded the Nobel Prize. He flew to Europe. Mm -hmm. he yes, the chemist was awarded the Nobel Prize. He flew yes to Europe to accept it. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Excellent. Why it's incorrect? Why is it incorrect? Because there is. Uh, mm -hmm. Because here we have what two complete sentences con joined by a comma alone. Come on, remember that, you know, like my lovely, lovely, lovely students. Like, remember, we can never, never use a comma alone 
to connect two complete sentences. Never. Comma is too weak. It connects one complete sentence with incomplete sentence or incomplete sentence with a complete sentence, you know, but you can never use it to, you know, to connect two complete sentences. Very good. Now, after that, we have Yahya, we have Lina, we have Ammar. Ammar Yasser, Yahya Muhammad, Lina Mahmoud, Ammar Yasser. So we're going to continue with you. The three of you are going to start with you now. The second example I noticed last time, like when usually speaking, when we speak about the past, we forgot that we speak about the past. We spoke about the present. We keep like using the present. And when we just, you know, remember the past, we used it again and then present again and then past again it is not supposed in english to do that you know in english we're not supposed to uh, use uh, different tenses if we don't have reasons so i'd just like to give you a very simple uh, explanation before we start answering the following exercise and i promise we're going to have um, speaking uh, speaking game inshallah so just you know like here i'd like to explain that point listen in english in general if you start in the past if you start in the past 90 percent you have to complete in the past for example in english i can say I know, oh, this one is like really, I need to change the font. I need to change the color, sorry. I can say, I know, like this one, here we have I. Okay, so you can say, I know, you know, uh, this is present. I know he came early, or you can say, I know he will come early, or I know he uh, comes early every day. In order to make it uh, accurate, you can see every day this is an adverb, I've got two words. Uh, I know that he come early, what's wrong right here? Like early every day, no problem. Nearly, no, I just like to say early. I knew that he will come uh, like, you know, next week, for example. I just, you know, I know that he came early yesterday. Okay, in English, you just speaking. You just speak in English, we don't mind. If you start in the present, like here we start the sentence, no is in the present, right? If you start in the present, you can just use the past after it as long as it makes a sense, no problem. Again, I know he came early yesterday, it's okay, it makes a sense. I know you came early last time, okay, it's correct. In English, it makes a sense. I know he will come early next week, it's also okay. I know this is present, we start the sentence in the present. Again, you can follow it with the future, no problem. I know you will do better next time. I know that you will speak very well. I know he comes early every day, also again, it's correct. The problem is, if you start the sentence, I'd like you now to compare, like let's answer the table, like here, let's say at this one here, like now, we have, let's say, stay here, start with the present, the main verb in the present, main verb, the first verb at present, like this one, and here we have uh, the main verb in the past. I just like you to compare, okay? So if I have just here, I'm going to, I don't know why my word like this one, okay, here. Let's I put it here, it should be, and this one also. Control X, I put it here, Control B, and I'm just, I'm going to make all of it in the middle. Okay, and just, I'm going to make it big, and sorry. This one. Also, this one I'm going to make it bigger. Okay, also this one. Look, if you start the sentence as here, the main verb, the first verb is in the present, it's okay. You can continue in the present, you can continue in the past, you can continue in the future. Believe me, it makes a sense and it's okay as long as you know it's meaningful. However, however, if you start the sentence in the past, like for example, instead of saying I know, you said I knew. You said here, I knew. So in that case, you don't have any option except continuing in the past. So for example, you have to say, I knew he came yesterday. Okay, it's okay. Or you can say, I came, I knew, I knew he would not well, not well. Like here you said he will, it's okay. But here you can never say, I knew he will. As this is one of the common mistakes. Like, you know, I knew we will travel. It's wrong. I knew we would not well travel because it is not allowed in English to start in the past and continue in the present, except in very few situations, in very like there are some like, few exceptions. But in general, make sure every time you start in the past, you continue in the past. I knew that he would come. Okay. Or you can say, for example, like you have that first um, Or you can say, I knew he had come. Again, it's also correct. All these sentences are correct. Which one is incorrect? Like for example here, like this one. Like if you said here, I knew, I knew, he will come. This sentence is incorrect. In English, it's incorrect. I knew she is coming. Again, this one is incorrect. I knew 
uh, like you know, she has come. Again, it's incorrect. So the three sentences here are not correct. My point is why I just focus on this mistake today because as I last told you last time, I noticed that maybe uh, three or four of you made such mistakes. When you speak about the past, stick to the past. In English, in English, um, it's better to stick to the present or just you know to the tense you use from the very beginning. As long as it makes sense, you can change the sentence if you have a reason for that. But if you don't have any reason to change your tense, don't change it. Okay, speak in the present, stick to the present. You speak about the past, stick to the past. Now I'm going to start with Yahya, and then we're going to do this one before, because like the second session will be mostly speaking, uh, speaking, so uh, we will have no time. So now I'd like Yahya, Lina, and I want, who's after Lina and Yahya? Lina, Yahya, Muhammad, Lina, Mahmoud, and Ammar Yasser. Okay, so now let's start, let's continue. Yes, so here we have this one. Now Yahya. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So here, for example, I tell him the truth when he asks me the question. It's okay. I started in the present. I tell and continued in the past because it makes sense. I tell him the truth. Uh, you know, sorry, sorry. I tell him the truth when he asks me a question. This sentence is incorrect. Why? I'm telling you why. Because here, like you can never say, I tell him the truth when he asks me. When he asked me, you should say, I told him the truth when he asked me the question. I told him. I told him the truth when he asked me the question, or I tell him the truth whenever he asked me a question. I tell him the truth whenever he asks me. This sentence is correct. I understand that you were angry. Yes, so you can ask, you can tell me this one in the present and this one in the present, this one in the past and this one in the past. Why this one is correct and this one is incorrect? This one is incorrect and this one correct? Because this one makes sense. I mean, the second one, it makes sense. I understand, I know that you were angry. It makes sense, but this one I can never say, I tell him the truth when he asked me. No, I told him the truth when he asked me. This is a story, like as if you tell, like, you know, a sequence of events. But this one, you tell him your opinion. I think I know you were angry. I'm not telling you a story. I'm not telling you a sequence of events. I'm telling you my opinion. I think you were angry. I think you were right. I think you were wrong. I think everything went wrong. So it, it makes sense because you're not telling me a story or a sequence of events. In the first sentence, it's wrong. Why? Because you tell me two events. Both of them happened in the past. Why should I put someone, uh, one of them in the present and the other one in the past? It doesn't make sense. Now, Yahya number three. Yeah, yeah, number three. When he was a child, he always goes to the circus uh, uh, incorrect because it was the name verb. Because yes. uh, the name verb. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So what should we say? The past and uh, goes is not in the past. Excellent. So why, how can we correct it? When he was a child, he always? Uh, went to the circus. Excellent. Very good. Very good, Yahya. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Number four, Lina. I'd like to make it a yes. little bit bigger. Yes, honey, number four. Is yes, it is yes. it clearer now? Yes, honey, number four. Yes. I'd like you to read it and tell me if it's correct or not. Uh, read it loud. Yes, loudly. Last, yes. Semester, last, yes. last semester, he reads seven books and wrote five papers. Wrong. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Why? Because uh, it was in the past and Excellent. Read, it's not in the past. You start with last. You see, you see girls, like, you know, everyone. So you see everyone last in the past, last semester, last year, last year, like, you know, last evening and so on. He reads or he read. It should be he read. Last right. year, last semester, he read. So in that case, we have to remove S. We should stick to the past. Last year, he read seven books and wrote five papers. Very good. Very good, Lena. After Lena, Ammar Yasser, Ammar number five. Yeah, Adam is with you. Yeah, I'm Ammar. Adam is with you. No, 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 no. Okay, so number five. He wakes up early every morning mm -hmm. because he wants to work early. Yes, is this sentence correct or incorrect? Hmm. It's like look here. Incorrect. Wakes up. Excellent. Very good. Why not? Because um because he. Um, Steve wakes up early every morning, mm -hmm. so it's already um, present simple. We have present. He wakes up early every morning so because he why very when excellent. It should be it have to be go goes goes. Don't forget s because he goes to work early. Very good, very good, Ammar. So after Ammar, is anyone who did not answer just right now? Anyone who did not answer and interested in answering? Ahmad Ashraf. Ahmad Ashraf did not answer. Yes, teach. Yes, Ahmed Ashraf. Okay, you can answer Ahmed. And then Khalid. Khalid did not answer. You like to answer Khalid? 
Rawan did not answer. So Ahmed Khalid, Ahmed, Rawan. Ahmed and Rawan, number six. Ahmed and Rawan. And again, we're going to start over. So number six, Ahmed. Okay. Mark yes. studied at the American University when he was uh, in Washington. Washington, D.C. Studied. When he was excellent excellent very good he studied when he was in america very good so is that one i can never say he studied at american the american university when he was when he is when he was very good now rawan number seven rawan yes miss. yes honey number seven read it and tell us why do you think it's correct or not correct or incorrect uh, okay uh, yeah Un uh, incorrect it's in you can never say un un you should say in in incorrect why incorrect. do you think it's incorrect yes uh, because uh, he, uh, if he did. Yeah, because like this one, he didn't have time to finish his room. You know, like to tell you the truth, to tell you the truth. From my point of view, I think this one, uh, you can say he was telling the teacher why he didn't have time to finish his homework. Or also you can say he is telling the teacher. Both of them are correct, but in order not to confuse you, you can say this one, it's better to say he was telling. He was telling the teacher why he didn't have time to finish his homework. But to, to tell you the truth, this one uh, is not considered wrong. Uh, but if you like to stick to the best, we can say he was telling the teacher, but still it makes sense if you're going to use it in the present as well. Now, number uh, after that, we're going to start over again. And uh, now we're going to start with Ziad. Ziad, number eight, quickly, Ziad. Okay, the second session, the second session will be mainly speaking game, a speaking game. Again, I will just, you know, take a photo of those who are interested in speaking, and we're going to have turns everyone, for everyone. Okay, okay, so number eight. Number eight, yes. Okay. He bought. So this one could be oh. incorrect if you like to take in the past, and just as I told you, and also it can be correct if you can say that what he's doing, uh, just let's say that it's incorrect in order not to be confused. He was telling the teacher why he didn't have time to finish the homework. We can say, uh, we can stick to the best in order to be in the safe side. So number eight, the end. Eight, uh, he put some money in the account when he goes, goes to, the to the bank. Correct or incorrect? There is no there is no comma and there is no uh, conjunction. No, no, honey, because this, this mistake is not about comma and conjunction. This mistake about uh, wrong tense. Like here we have put in the past, okay? And we have goes in the present. Is it okay or not? We like, you know, we started. No, no, excellent, it's wrong. It's incorrect, it's wrong, it's ingrammatical. It should be he bought, both of them should be in the present. He bought some money in his account whenever he goes to the bank. Or, or you can see he put some money in his account when he went to the bank. Okay, number nine. After the end, I want Ahmed. 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 Uh, Tom keeps studying hard because he intended to go to dental school. Uh, incorrect. Incorrect. It should be. It should be Tom kept studying hard because he intended to go to uh, dental school. Excellent. Or Tom keeps studying hard because he intended uh, to go to dental Intent. school. Excellent. Very good, Ahmed. Again, like, um, oh, and what grade are you? What grade are you in? Uh, grade ten. MashaAllah, very uh, good. Going, going, going to live. Yeah, you're going to be great. And very good, Ahmed. MashaAllah, very good. You're smart. Number 10, uh, after Ahmed, I want Mustafa. I be Mustafa. Mustafa? Yes, 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 honey. Number 10. Quickly, Mustafa, because we have less than one minute. Present. Yeah. She's where she's today because she worked hard when she was a student. She's where she's today because she worked hard when she was a student. This sentence, correct or incorrect? Uh, 